Hello, my wealthy wife, family, and friends. This is Ms. Sophia, author of Wealthy Wife, Meeting, Dating, and Marriage Man, as well as the founder of the Wealthy Wife Academy, and of course, your godmother of affluent, rich, and wealthy romance. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you, ladies and gentlemen, doing today? I hope all is well with you. I truly do. I want to start off first by saying thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you being here. From old school G subscribers, once again, humongous hug. I appreciate you for allowing me to be part of your life for all of these years. And for those who actually become official goddaughters, once again, thank you as well. Because the majority of the goddaughters come from my YouTube channel. I do have women that I work with. I have no, I always makes me smile, especially doing interviews or private tutoring. Because I'll ask them, how did you hear about, you know, how did you hear about Wealthy Wife? I go, did you find the YouTube channel? They're like, you have a YouTube channel? That always makes me laugh out loud. I'm like, oh, you have not watched any YouTube videos? No, I had no idea you had a YouTube channel. I'm like, well, how did you find me? Sometimes if somebody typed in quarters on, Wealthy Wife pops up. Uh, they type in, what else? They, there's a few things they type in and I'll pop up. And if you type in Wealthy Wife, bomb. I mean, I own that one. That's, I am the first thing that pops up on Wealthy Wife. Because that is my SEO. You know what I'm saying? That is my, I've, been, I've established that keyword a long time ago. But for the most part, they come through my YouTube channel. So thank you. And more of you should come join us. I'm, I'm just saying we're, we're really working some wonderful magic and magical moments over here in the academy between the goddaughters that I'm working with in the academy and my private clients, which I'm also, I keep forgetting, I do have a couple of spaces left for private tutoring. So if you would like to work with me privately, if you have some goals, if you'd like to really hone in and Take the time out to go deeper into the learning of self. You know, private tutoring is a great place to do it because it is one-on-one. -on -one. Or the VIP, because I'll be doing VIP days as well. I haven't got that together yet to put on the website. But if you're interested in a VIP day with me, you are welcome to email me. Right now, I'm sending out information to the goddaughters within the Wealthy Wife. So I haven't really put it out there for the public, but I'm just letting you guys know it's coming. So if you're interested, feel free to email me. But anyway... Yes, it really is fun. You guys come join us. For my newer, newer subscribers, I want to say first, welcome to the world of Wealthy Wife. And also, thank you for joining us. I do appreciate you being here. And for the official Wealthy Wife Goddaughters, you guys already know I adore you. You know it. I mean, the ones I'm working with right now, we have we just have such a great time when we have the meetings it is literally like coming home it is like we sit here yes i still teach yes i still offer information yes i offer guidance but i love the level of emotional intelligence that the goddaughters have i love the wisdom that they have because we are working on once again becoming a whole woman remember you are the holy grail so we work on wholeness over here hang on one second Tapping into your entire essence and being as a woman. And then also understanding how to be open to receive the divine guidance and all the assistance that comes with you. I say this again, we're not here by ourselves. And I will also remind you guys, remember, you are divinity. Inside of you, the energy that powers you is literally stardust. It is stardust of divine. The creator of everything lives in you. Yes. So that's why I always have issues when I would talk about, you know, about Christianity. Hang on. When you had all these conversations around, you're born a sinner and, you know, you're basically garbage and, you know, God just thinks you just hates you. And I'm like, what are you people talking about? I don't know what version of God they're serving or whatever, because there are different gods and goddesses. Hear me. That's a real thing. There literally are different levels and layers and dimensions of gods and goddesses, just as they're angels and other entities and beings. Trust, we are not the only thing that God did. I thank goodness. Whew. But anyway, so whatever version of God they're, they're serving, I'm like, nah, you guys can keep that one because that one sucks. What energy that I'm aware of, that I've been aware of all my life, is a very loving energy. It is one that definitely gives me, you know, the freedom to move about the way I choose to move about. And even when I do do things, it's kind of going, are you sure you want to do that? And like, yeah. And it says, okie dokie. You'll be back. 
because I, okay, whatever. Go ahead, honey. Do what you're going to do. And because remember, we have free will. And that's what messes us up. The fact that once we once we put our pump, once we put our foot on the brake, we pump the brakes and we snatch the steering wheel out of the hands of our higher wisdom. And I'm gonna do this myself. And of course we mess it up because we don't have the higher if we're just doing it from the space of standing inside this physical shell we call a body, if we're trying to work out the details with just this, we're in trouble. And it usually do we usually get in trouble because we're not making wise decisions because we're trying to go just upon our knowing and cutting out the wisdom of something greater than us. So the goddaughters, the whole point for that particular rant was this, the goddaughters I'm working with. And once again, ladies, if you're interested in joining us, join us. I've got so many different things going on right now that can get you guys into the academy. You know, you've got the VIP, uh, Elegant Muse VIP monthly membership that comes with work that you can do. I've got master classes in there you can take. Um, once again, the live master class, Glamour Magic, is going on right now. This is the last week to enroll. So if you want to join, and we're over there, oh my God, I'm kidding you not. Those Saturday conversations are priceless between the book recommendations, the wisdom being shared, the conversations being had, the goddess energy that we're, we're, we're working with. And there's a, several goddess energies that we're working with right now. And I'm about to introduce them to some more this coming weekend. Um, the different magical things that we're looking at, the ceremonies. I said this week, we're talking, we talk about scripting. Uh, we're doing mirror magic. We discuss mirror magic which is not one I really work. I don't do a lot of mirror magic. That's not really my thing. I'm more of a candle magic kind of person. Candle magic, uh, invocations, that's more my thing. Words. I love words. <laughs> yeah, no surprise. Oh, Miss Sophia, really? You love, to, you love to talk. I know, right? Amazing. <laughs> but I love because words create. Your words create. So I just, I, that's just my thing, okay? But we're going to be talking about sigil magic because I do love sigil magic as well. It's a very powerful way to do things. In reference to glamour magic, because once again, it's energy. It's all about knowing how to utilize energy in a way that's going to elevate you. Because people are using it against you all over the place. All over the place. The sigil ma and sigil magic is a big one. Think about it. Logos, sigil magic. Mm-hmm. That love of those Louis Vuitton handbags and Gucci and all that, that um, uh, logo wear, sigil magic. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to just let that sit there. I'll let you guys sit there and ponder that for a second. It's in your face 24-7. And it's making other people wealthy. What is it doing for you? I'll say it again. I have nothing against luxury goods. I love luxury items. But I'm also very much into cultivating my brand. What makes me happy? What adds to my joy? What's building out my personal riches and wealth, so to speak? So sigil magic is something that is very useful. It is something that, once again, you can create and make very personal. So we're not talking. I'm going to introduce it to them probably Saturday. I know we're talking about scripting this coming Saturday. We had a homework assignment with that. But it, by the way, I'm not, I'm just thinking out loud. But anyway, but if you want to join us, like I said, today's the last week to join. Today, this week is the last week to join. And then I'm, I'm closing off, um, I'm closing off enrollment for that one. And remember, ladies, I only teach, and for those, because I had one of my alumni ask me if I want to teach it again. I only teach a live master class live once, just so you know. So Glamour Magic will never be taught again live. I've only done one, I've only done one, one. Yeah, it was only one live magic class I've done twice, and that was the Dominatrix Secrets. That's the only one I've done so I've done twice. But so I know I'm going to teach them one time because Glamour Magic will eventually become part of something, either another course, a six-month course, a year-long course, or it should become something I use with private clients. I don't know yet. But if you want to be part of it, because there's a lot of information being shared, you're welcome to come join us. So click on the link below and get yourselves in the class. And I also have a new one coming out, which I'm going to talk about today. Mastering the Arts of Feminine Allure. Who is your dark feminine energy archetype? Now, here's where this one came about, because I know you guys, I'm always pumping out stuff. But here's my thing. Just being the creative, tapped into, into universal energy, tapped into divine feminine energy. This is something you guys need to be aware of as well, because you are creation. You are a creator. As a woman, you are a natural creatress. 
And you should be creating things. You should be doing things because the things I do offer me a great deal of joy. I love offering information up to you guys that you can use to become a better version of yourself. I love putting information out here that can really help you tap into being your own person. Because I said again, my I work with muses. So my, and, and we have categories. I have goddaughters that their goal is to become a wealthy wife. And I have goddaughters that want to stay in a space of the energy of the courtesan. And the courtesan energy is simply a woman who's choosing to stay single. And we will pick and choose the kind of men that we invite into our world. We pick and choose our lovers. One, more, whatever. Courtesan energy. But I have those, once again, that desire to be married. So it doesn't really matter. Because the foundation of both of those options is you. You really won't understand what you desire and want in your wise until you take the time out to learn yourself. Because until that happens, you're doing what other people are telling you. You don't anybody else run your dog on life. Why? How is it working for you? I see so, so many miserable people out there. I mean, you guys even run off some of your bed. <laughs> I was laughing. You guys, I'm not saying any of you directly, but women have managed to even run off one of their favorite dating coaches. She doesn't even want to deal with women anymore. I'm not going to put her name out there. I'm not going to put her name out there. But I had to laugh. I ran across uh, one, of her, was it one of her videos or I think she, I don't know, something. But she was talking about it. I had, she had me laughing out loud. But she was like, you guys are hard-headed. And once again, I'm not saying any of you directly. But I was laughing because I'm like going, she's right. Women are some of the most difficult and just aggravating individuals on the planet sometimes for the ones that have no desire to change. They want everything to focus around, you know, to, 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 you know, basically um, evolve around them, but they're, they're garbage when it comes to their headspace. They're not offering any kind of incentive. They're not offering any kind of leadership. They're not offering any reason to allow them to be the one that you've placed your focus on, but they expect everybody to do their bidding and they lack leadership skills. Feminine leadership skills. We, we lead differently than men do. But yeah, but I was laughing when she said that she was done. She's not done with it anymore. She closed up her academy when it came to dating. I'm like, oof. I go, that said a lot because she she was a major advocate. Once again, I will not say her name. She's awesome, by the way. I think she's amazing, this individual. Some of you will know what I'm talking about energy-wise. I like her energy. But I was laughing because I thought about this. She's right. So that's why I said, I work with women who are ready to really be their personal best. And this way, as they're making selections, they allow themselves a state of grace. Because when you're going back to learning self, especially if you're, just, if you're doing it for the first time, especially if you're coming out of situations where people have just done their best to make you feel like crap, we have conversations. I remember talking to one of my goddaughters. She's, um, we were discussing it. Was it last Saturday's class? Or a Wednesday call, I don't remember. But she was saying how she's really waking up now in reference to her sensuality and her sexual energy. And for so long, she felt ashamed of it. And this is something that I can share with you guys because so many women have gone through this. Where they feel this shame. Or they were shamed because, you know, because women, I told you, I'll say it again. Women can be the most hateful individuals to other women. It's the jealousy, the envy. It's just, it's just something that gets inside some women and just eats them up inside. And they just have to share that hatefulness with everybody else. It's like, ew. But they're the ones, like I said, that sometimes women, they can be your fake friends. You know, smile on your face and just be doing all kind of diabolical stuff energetically to bring you down. So she was saying how, you know, she's finally, because once again, wealthy wife is a safe haven. And I do advocate for my goddaughters being honest about, you know, self so they can actually find out what their skill sets are, what their talents are, what they're here to do, what their purpose is, so to speak. But she was saying that. And now she understands that there's nothing wrong with her. She's, she's in the process now of writing a book. And I know she's going to hear this because she listens to the audio. She does listen to the audios. She's writing a book. And I'm so, I'm, I cannot wait. I'm so, I'm so looking forward to getting my hands on this book because she writes some of the most amazing poetry. And it's, it's sensual, erotic poetry, but it's in reference to the divine sacredness of being a woman. It's just, it's just amazing. And another goddaughter is illustrating the book. And this one who hears illustrations, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, I'm excited. 
So I, she, I guess she said the book will be out by the summer. I hope so, darling, because I'm looking forward to reading it. But these are the things that I encourage inside a wealthy wife. I desire for my goddaughters to step into their talents, to discover what makes them happy. Because the goal is to become a fascinating woman. And that's the topic, just so you know. I know people are going, you get to the topic quicker. No, get to it when I get to it. I always let people come on and just like going, you know, you know, don't like how, how someone does something, whatever. Listen and learn because you know what? It's when you take the time out to listen, you can learn quite a bit, ladies. But for those of you that are in a hurry to get quick knowledge, once again, I'm not the person because I'm going to be, I have, I come here to have a discussion with you. Okay. I teach throughout the discussion, but I'm here to do girl talk, woman talk with you. That's what I would say. Take out your pen and paper. Study the information. I have yet to not leave you guys wisdom through the conver- the information I share with you here on YouTube. But like I said, some of you are impatient and I can't help you. But anyway, are you a fascinating woman? Because I actually have this on Instagram. I actually have, um, I did a, a reel on Instagram. And this is basically the summation of it. Are you a fascinating woman? Because I thought about this. I woke up this morning thinking about it. Have you ever experienced... Enjoying the adoration or care of men who desire to assist you. Now, I know most women have not. They have never experienced a man or men's deep attraction to them. I mean, seriously, most women have not. They don't know what that means because they're, and and, and how I know this is because they're fearful. They have this fear of allowing a man to gift them, to give them things. They have a fear of receiving from the masculine. And when that happens, that usually tells me as a woman who's given herself too freely, too often, to the wrong type of men, men who were not suitable for her, but for whatever reason, she felt that she wasn't, she had to do what she was doing to be liked or not, or not be left behind. That's not how it works, ladies. But anyway, I'll continue. So anyway, most of them have never experienced a man's deep attraction to them. Once again, most haven't. And that's once again, they, they become very fearful. Because just because he wants to lay down with you, it doesn't mean that's a deep attraction to you. That just simply means he's going to get to the goods as quickly as possible. And for most of them, with minimal effort. Once again, this is, this is the theme that's going on out there with most women. So why have they not experienced this kind of deep attraction from men? Because most have been taught to believe she must mold herself into whatever she's been taught makes a man happy. Okay. Remember those ladies are telling you guys that, you know, you got to wait for a man to choose you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I say it, it makes, I have to laugh because I'm like going, oh my God, yuck. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. It's not. We choose them. We choose them. Sometimes we make poor choices, but we're the ones who choose them. Okay. Unfortunately, this type of behavior requires a woman to basically dumb herself down, which causes her to feel insecure and uncertain about her personal beauty her intelligence, her talents, and more. Have you ever heard that, ladies? I've heard, I've heard that. I've, I don't know if they're still if they're still telling women this stuff, but I heard this even a few years ago, a couple years ago, about ladies, don't let a man know you're smart. I'm like, what? One of my crowning glories, one of the things that the men that I spend time with, I've met over the years, love most about me, is the fact that I'm intelligent. I'm an intelligent woman. I'm a very well-read woman. I'm a, I'm a comic advent reader. I am an eternal student. That is one of the things that makes me very sexy to men is the fact that I actually have a brain. So, you know, uncertain about talents, uncertain about just the things that could really make you shine in the world. And this causes women to actually, uh, you know, lower their attempt to, to lower or to attempt to disconnect their sensational and like the sensual connection to her divinity. Her divine and sublime connection to goddess energy, divine feminine energy. And that's so wild because it's it's happening. Even with all these goddess movements going on, all this conversation about goddess energy, most women still are not connecting. They're going through the motions. I see a lot of people going through the motions. But they're still holding back. I was watching something because there's all these women out there now that are teaching movement dancing, dancing, oh, you know, all this dancing and moving and move. And I'm, and I'm looking at some of them going, oh my God, they look like they're broken doll babies. And I don't mean, I've got it sounded terrible. But that's not how I meant it, but I'm going to say it anyway. 
because they're still not in the flow. I'm a dancer, just so you guys know. So when I say they look like they, they there's, they're, they're, you still, you, I still see the tension in their bodies. So when I say they look like broken dolls, because they're not fluid, they're not, their, their, their bodies are still stiff, and because they're still holding on to energy, but they're claiming that they're going to teach you all this movement and to be, you know, the goddess movements and this stuff. I'm going, but you haven't even freed up the energy in your body yet. They're still holding on, and it's usually within the pelvis. I can watch it in people's hands, their wrist, their shoulders, their elbows. I said, guys, I'm a dance dancer. I studied dance for forever and a day, and I still dance. So I know the efforts are being made, and I honor those efforts. But it's still, you got to go deeper. You've got to go into self. If you want to be able to move, and don't get me wrong, there are men out there teaching dance that no can shake that thing. I'm telling you, I've seen some too. I'm going, I need to learn how to do that. I've seen a couple of them. I'm looking at them going, huh? And I can move. Trust me, I'm, I'm I still got some good flex. I got great flexibility going on over here. But there's still some things. Even I'm going, okay, I need to study that because I need to make sure I can make my body move like that. So there are some that are really, 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 really great at it. But that's also because she is relaxed. You would, when you see them dancing, when you hear them speak, because some of them actually follow on Instagram, you see it. You, you, you guys, you can see it. So my thing is this, but these are women that know themselves and they accept themselves. And they're not allowing other people to tell them what to do and not to do. And they are the ones that I would definitely say have tapped into dark feminine energy. That deep, deep God, goddess energy. Because that will show up in how you move your body, just so you know. Once again, it's not just about... I hear a lot of people talking. I do. I, and I see stuff. I watch stuff. And I hope some of them will get to that point that they can, you know, relax whatever tensions inside of them, whatever, whatever they haven't resolved. I do hope the ones that are teaching will get to that point and can do it. But once again, everyone's on their own path, right? But when you meet the ones that have embodied the dark from the energy, meaning they allow themselves to be in that creatress, creative energy, that's where you see the fluidity. That's where you is the sound of her voice is how the throat chakra is clear. That's another way I can tell when somebody is working on themselves, is that they, they don't have issues. They have, they have no issues speaking. They have clarity in how they speak. And I love also, like I said, inside the group, because I'm watching it happen with the goddaughters. Because sometimes they do get frustrated because they're not able to find the words to express what they're saying. And we wait. Give them a moment. But what I love is every time we come together, every time, because I have goddaughters that are consistent. And every time they show up, they are more relaxed and they're better able to articulate what's on their minds. That almost makes me cry in a good way. I'm, I'm just saying, I just, I get emotional about this stuff because ladies, this is important to me. This is so, so important to me. And that's once again why I desire more of you to be here with us. Because this is literally about unlocking you. This literally is about you getting into you and allowing anything that's inside of your system that is causing the blockages that will have you dancing like your body is not is this disconnected, okay? To get you to the point that you can be fluid. In your movements, you can walk with confidence. You can dance, shake your body, move your hips, move your shoulders, your face. Just, oh my gosh, to just have that freedom. And then to be able to speak with clarity and confidence. That's what makes you a fascinating woman. Because when you can speak with clarity, I'll say this again, men who are full of fuckery are not going to bother you. And when I say through the clarity, we do it in a way that there's, nothing, there's no nasty. No, you don't have to be nasty to somebody for the most part. I'm saying it doesn't happen. You know, it's flawless all the time. But 99, and I say 96% of the time, you don't need to. 
Because I said again, those men aren't going to bother you. They're going to look at you going, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. They know. They're not stupid. They know. They know. They, they'll compliment you, but they're not going to mess with you because they're looking at you going, oh. And they'll tell you. I told you before, men tell me, I already know I can't afford you. I already know you are well beyond anybody I should need to be talking to. But I just want to tell you that you look beautiful today and have a wonderful day. And I'm like, oh, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. You too. Because they already know that they cannot stand in that same energy with me and hold that energy. It will just decimate them. And they're very courteous. Even men that... And people are like going, why is he so nice to you? He's so terrible to everybody else. I go, because I'm me. I'm not like anybody else. And that's the goal for all of you. So in this upcoming master class, Mastering the Arts of Feminine Allure, who is your dark energy archetype, dark feminine energy archetype, we're going over energy and archetypes and helping you gain clarity around who has your voice, so to speak. Who, excuse me, are you showing up? Who shows up for you? Because each archetype has a way of speaking, a way of being, a way of dressing, a way of showing up in the world. That's why I said before, this whole drive and this whole desire to be the femme fatale, no way are most of the women that are chasing that dream going to be able to hold that energy. A femme fatale is born. Can you borrow her traits periodically? Mm. You've got to be a really, really strong, solid woman to hold that energy. Because most women want to play with it. And then as soon as they get what they want, because she fasc she's fascinating. That's a fascinating woman. She fascinates men because she is so unbothered by them. And she has this air of superiority about her. And men do find that sexy, just so you know. When I say superiority, meaning that, you know, they're there to serve. And they know it. And if they don't, they get dismissed. Now that becomes a challenge. But you have to, if that is what draw, drew, brought a man to you, you have to stay in that energy. That's why I say a femme fatale is born because for her, it's just who she is. She'll refine it as she gets older. But for the most part, she's not coming out of character because it's her. Most of them want to play with the energy and once again, but they don't understand that once you start doing that, if that's what attracted the man to you, you have to stay in the energy. And if it's not your energy, it will, it will exhaust you. It will wear you out and it will eventually implode. And then the circumstance and situation that you're in will end because the man's going to feel that you lied to him because you did. You were not moving in your personal truth. So learning these set, and I'm only going with six archetypes for the dark feminine energy. Learn which archetype actually lines up for you. Because I'm sharing this with you. You're going to have the opportunity to explore the richness and pleasure of enjoying the sacred ancient secrets and wisdom of some of the most successful women throughout time. Now think about this. Women like Diane Carroll, definitely dark feminine energy, 100%. Because she was someone who didn't take no for an answer. And she did it in a way... That was so, I would probably call her a dark goddess. If I was going to go, call her energy a dark goddess. Because she literally pulled down from the universe. Because she accomplished so many firsts. She, she was a trailblazer for so many actresses. Because of her refusal to take no for an answer. Powerful woman. Powerful, powerful ancestor. Eartha Kitt. Cleopatra, Marlene Dietrich, Marilyn Monroe. I put Sophie Loren on here as well. Sophia Loren on here as well. And there's others. I can name other ones. But these are the ones that came to mind when I was writing this article when I was writing this up. Because and Sophia Loren is another great example because of the woman who refused to cave in. I listened to an interview that she did. It was a clip, a snippet on Instagram. And she was saying how when she came to Hollywood, because Hollywood was so was great about, you know, basically redesigning their actors and actresses. And they mean they would plastic surgery, weight loss, change their, you know, change how they spoke. I mean, I just that gave them whole new identities, gave them whole new ethnic groups sometimes. I was like, it was crazy. 
how they did it. And when she came into Hollywood, they were looking at her like, you know what, you're going to probably need to get a nose job. And she said, no. And her husband said, he goes, I don't know, honey, you might want to do what they said. She said, no. I like my nose. Dark, feminine energy. Because once again, we don't settle. I'm not saying it's flawless all the time because there's a, there's a learning curve there as well sometimes. But we understand how to be authentic because we understand the power of who we are because you could only be powerful. You could only be at maximum power, so to speak, when you're being authentic. When you, you become very diluted, when you're chasing after everybody else's version of what femininity is, what you got to do. I got to be a femme fatale. I got to be, I got to be sweet. I've got to be submissive. I got to be, when you're chasing all of this noise and there's so much noise out there right now, you're diluting your power. And that's why women are sitting here going, I need man, a man to make me feel safe because they have created so much havoc in their own lives. They're choosing poorly when it comes to men. Because I'll say it again, it's not a man's responsibility to make you feel safe. Choose better. Because there are plenty of men out there that understand how to care for a woman and they happily do it. For those of you who never experienced it, I'm I'm so, so long for that experience for you but you've got to be willing to receive it and you've got to be willing to pour back into that man as well some of these women are saying these things they're not offering anything to a man he's got to make me feel safe and what are you doing for him how are you improving his life and it's usually crickets because they don't think about it. And I've had this with interviews, just so you know. I ask them, you know, I've got this whole, she got a whole checklist about all the things a man has to do for her. And I come back and say, and what are you offering him? And these are private, these have been some of my private clients, just so you know. Great women, great women. And they're like, oh, oh gosh, I never thought about it. I'm like, of course you have it. Because most of the women that are teaching women basically aren't teaching you guys how to pour back into men. It's about gimme, 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 take, 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 take. No, it's about reciprocity. And it's in that reciprocity that you receive even more. Remember, we are the vessels they pour into. We are the receivers. Men are the givers. And men happily give when a woman understands how to appreciate and has the capacity to articulate what her needs are. I speak from experience. I said before, I, I, I won't share, I guess, on, on YouTube, the things I've received over the years. I've received some amazing gifts, amazing, amazing opportunities, amazing. Oh, I won't discuss everything on YouTube. But what has been given to me over the years, just because... Because I said before, I'm not nagging a man. I'm not saying, well, you know, you got to give me that. Mm -mm. No, my energy. I'm a woman who loves men, who appreciates men, who pours into men, who elevates men. My energy elevates men. My energy inspires. Men come into my world and they wind up thriving, doing even better than they were doing before. And I deal with men who are very successful. But because they have a space to be heard, seen, honored, relax and it's in the space of, and, I, and ladies i am dark from the energy that is a fact okay i own it i own it it's who i am and i love it and dark from the energy is not all about you know this 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 you know this lower level energy far from it matter of fact it's the energy of creation everything is everything is born created within the dark before it comes into the light. So learning your archetypes. And what I've discovered, because I actually had a quiz for those of you that received the Muse letter, because some of you are listening, did receive the Muse letter, and you filled out the uh, questionnaire. The one thing I noticed, because I've had several goddaughters send them back to me to get, you know, their archetypes, their matchup, is I have a ton of coquettes and sirens. There's a handful of uh, a couple other ones, but for the most part, it has been coquettes and sirens. I thought, how interesting. But that would make sense because these are women, once again, that are really playing into, not I wouldn't say we use the word play, but I use the word play because it's pleasurable. For me, it's pleasurable. I use the word play because it's pleasure. Um, 
But that would make sense. That really makes sense because a cold cat, that makes sense. Because a cold cat is the one who has the energy that's, that, that runs hot and cold, the push-pull. So I would make sense because once they're learning themselves and they're, they kind of go into, because most of the goddaughters are introverts and a cold cat for the most part is an introvert. She is. She comes out when she chooses to come out. And then the siren, that makes perfect sense too. Because they have the power to turn a man inside out. In a good way. So interesting. But anyway. Um, so yeah. So this this art, this class is going to literally tap, take you into the space to learn how to tap into your deeper powers. Your deeper energy. Your deeper knowledge. And what does that look like? What does it sound like? What are the energies? Who are you interacting with? Who do you desire to interact with? How does that look in the space of attracting men? Meaning you're the magnet. They come to you. Not you chasing them. Not you being all bossy and telling them, you're going to do this for me because no. You're the magnet. We don't have to do that. But you do need to understand how to speak your, your desires. You do need to understand how to articulate what you do desire to receive. Because I'm going to say this again. They start asking and there's nothing more unattractive. The woman can't express what she desires. Because they the man gets frustrated, she gets frustrated because he has the resources. He's ready to pour into you. And well, you know, I don't know what do you want to do for me. No, that that's weak. That that's weak. No, we have ideas what the, what they can do when they finally when they're asking. Oh yeah. Because we're usually sharing with them the things we love to do. We're usually sharing with them the things that get us excited because that's part of the charm and the fascination. I always love that. I'm talking about something I really love to do. I give you guys an example of the jewelry. Um, when I was down in South Florida. And once again, you guys know I design jewelry. And I was having a conversation with a gentleman. It's a friend of a friend. And I, I have this d dude. is an interesting individual. Probably on the spectrum. I don't know what version. I don't because there's so many different things in reference to autism and these different things. He was definitely on a spectrum. I would, and I, because he was so flippant intelligent and how he spoke and how he received information was very unique. Um, but I remember we were talking and I was talking about, you know, about the jury decides what I was doing jury wise. And he brought that information in his head like a flipping computer. And he was like going, oh, he goes, I can help you. And he starts going through all these people he knows, like in India and some other places, you know, the access to bees and different things I could possibly need. And if I, you know, he was ready to invest in my dog on business. I was like, wow. And I was just starting to design jewelry, you guys. So I wasn't ready for anything that, that, that scale. Uh, not even close because I literally had just begun. But that's what happens. Because I was so excited about what I was doing. And I still love designing jewelry. I haven't done anything a lot. I think I did a couple few pieces when I was in Vegas. But I'll get back, and when I finally get back into my own home again, I will um, get back to designing jewelry again. But this is what happens. It's your excitement that excites them. And they all of a sudden, they want to find ways to give you money. They want to find ways to do things for you. So, once again, you don't have to go out here just just ready to just, you know, enforce, enforce, you know, these things to happen for you. You need to be in a great space so that you're ready to articulate these things and draw to you the right men. All money's not good money. Okay? So, rather you're choosing to, you know, work your magic locally or maybe you're going to become a globally iconic woman someday too. I don't know. But the goal of mastering the arts of feminine allure, who is your dark feminine energy archetype is literally to bring you back to a space of appreciation while you are developing a loving and powerful personal connection to the feminine energy and wisdom energetic wisdom within you oops hang on a second and for you to become the most amazing woman in your world because you are you deserve to become a fascinating woman a woman whose devotion to learning herself, and you become a devotee of you, creates a loving, luxurious, and opulent life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited about this. I really am. I'm looking at the coursework as it's coming together. Um, 
you really are going to have a chance to understand what those energies are and to find out once again we're looking for what happens inside the course is you'll find you'll discover what your main archetype is because you'll be more than one you're going to wind up being more than one but there'll be one main one and then there will, might be a secondary one that comes up as well but there are quizzes in the course you know, and before I forget, you know, I actually have the introduction. We have a lesson. There's a free lesson you guys can listen to uh, that'll give you a little bit of information about that will tell you a little bit more, give you some deep details about the course. So anyway, that is all for today. You know, I adore you and I appreciate you. And once again, ladies, I am here because my desire is for you to really understand who you are so you can live this life that's just going to be beyond exceptional. Okay. Have an awesome day. Bye bye.